Kevin? Tim? We're back, baby. Yeah. 2024 One Ski Quiver Review. I was just hiking in the mountains just this past weekend. And I got to tell you, the hills were turning bright colors. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like I could smell that early snow coming. I know. Isn't it great? Oh, I got my Icon Pass in the mail. I am stoked for this season. Yep. Are there any big themes about skis coming into 2024? Coming into 2024, the skis are awesome. I'll say that to begin with, right? Yeah. There's so many great skis to choose from. And, you know, what we're talking about today is like that one ski quiver. That one ski quiver can mean different things to different people. Okay. And what I want to show you is kind of what I consider a one ski quiver and see if it relates to your skiing. Okay. Um, but there's some fun stuff to talk about. Yeah, when I think of the one ski quiver, this is that one ski you're gonna grab when you go on vacation. Mm -hmm. Like if you're not gonna carry multiple right. skis for yourself, you're gonna grab that or your daily driver that you don't know what the conditions are gonna be, but you're going up to the mountains, so you're gonna grab something. Yeah. You wanna jump in? Absolutely, let's do it. Let's do it. Well, to start things off, Tim, we'll talk about the Atomic Bent Shetler. The Bent Shetler has been around for a handful of years now. And what I love about the Shetler series of skis is the different options of width. So again, we're talking about the one ski quiver and, and my favorite ski in that is always gonna hover around that 100 millimeter waist width. For others, it might mean 90 and for others, it might mean 110. But that 100 waist width is gonna give you the versatility that, hey, yeah, let's say you're going to Whistler for the weekend and you're looking at the report and one day it's dumping snow and then it stops for the next two or three days and you want that one ski. You don't wanna bring a handful this is it. This Chetler 100 is a super versatile ski. At 100 waist width, it's quick edge to edge, and it's gonna float you in the powder. All of the Chetler series has that Horizon Tech tip, which is really good in soft snow. It's gonna allow that ski to really surf uh, when you get in the deep stuff. But with a nice 90 degree sidewall under the foot here, you get really good edge hold on the groomed and hard pack. So the Chetler is one of my faves in this category. Now hold on a second here, Kevin. Yeah. A couple things. Waste width. Yes. What the heck is waste width? You say that like I know. Knows I know. I what know. Is it? Well, so waste width is the narrowest part of the ski, so it's right underneath the boot, basically, and it's measured in millimeters. So this ski is exactly 100 millimeters under the narrowest part of the ski. Okay, got it. Now Ben, he lives in a Van by a river. Yeah, yeah, Ben. It, it's it's Chris. It's, Van by a river. I know. I know. It's, <laughs> it's it's Chris Chris Ben Chetler. And Chris, he started out as just an athlete for Atomic. Well, he's evolved over the years. He's now in charge of their graphic designs. Yeah, band down by the river. He's What's a great this, guy. This guy? He surfs in the summer. He's an artist. So, so this is his artwork. That's what's cool about the, 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 the Chetler skis is this is his artwork. And he's got it through his whole line of skis from the 85 all the way up to the 120 um, and everywhere in between, they look beautiful. So you gotta go on and check those out. Chris, I wanna meet you. <laughs> Where do I find this guy? I know, well, Atomic, he works for Atomic. Okay. So. There right. you go. Moving down the line, let's let's talk about the head core series. So again, that 100 waist width, we're, we're looking at a 99 waist width here. This is such a fun ski. Again, you know, whether you're a hard charging skier, you like to just bomb it down the mountain, ski hard, fast and aggressive. This is gonna give you the stability and the power you need without being too heavy. One of the things I love about the core ski is head designed the ski to be very light. And usually people are like light and stability, oh, that doesn't always go together, but it does with the head cores. This ski is amazing. A lot of people might put a touring binding on here so that they can use it as a touring setup and give them that really nice ski for the downhill portion of it. Or just your resort skier that wants to put a standard binding on here. This thing is beautiful. So absolutely love the, the Core 99. Moving on to the Solomon QST 98. This is a super fun ski. So what I love about the QST 98 is its turn radius. This ski, if you take a look at what's pretty much right in front of the, the toe and the heel of the binding. This side cut is a, a nice deep side cut. So what you're gonna find is when you roll the ski up on edge, it engages and it turns quick. It is amazing ski. It has such a fun feel to it. Some other things with this ski, and I, and I brought this little like salesman sample here to kind of talk about the core of the ski. There's a lot to talk about here. So when you're looking at the, the QST, 
QST98, this is an open graphic. To, so, you know, it's clear graphic so you can see the guts of the ski. You can see the wood core, mainly wood core. All of these skis are wood core for the most part. Down in this section, this dark section here in the, the tail and in the tip of the ski, this is a layer of carbon and flax. The idea there is to give the ski a light feel, but not sacrifice power. It gives the ski good energy and liveliness in the tip and tail. Combination of cork above that. So at the very tip of this, the ski and on the very tail, you see cork, like a cork, right? Like a wine bottle cork. The idea there is it dampens those vibrations. So you get the carbon and the flax that gives you good power and energy and liveliness. And then you get that cork that really helps dampen the ski uh, to give it a really smooth feel on the groomers when you want to open it up. That's in the QST 98 beautiful ski. Vocal mantra, the mantra. There's a lot of you mantra skiers out there. And I know because this ski is going on like eight or nine years now, but they change the ski up all the time you know the idea is to just keep improving on it and making it better and better and they've certainly done that with the uh, the mantra m6 the m6 what they have done with this ski that's a little bit different from skis in the past is they're going to this 3d side cut um, and what that basically means is this ski has three different radiuses as you work down the ski the tip radius so from the contact point to about in front of the binding is actually a little bit longer turn radius than what's under the binding, the midsection of the ski, and is also different from the tail. Idea behind this is you get a ski that when you're rolling into the turn and you wanna carry more speed, maybe you, you want more of a GS feel in the ski, uh, you'll find that that ski makes a nice long turn radius, or when you wanna really step on it and get that ski to engage quick, that power and that uh, side cut that's under the foot carves really well it gives you that quicker feel and then a nice exit in the tail the beauty is, is this ski gives you a ton of versatility from big gs turns to quick slalom turns everywhere love this ski very stable beautiful graphic they put a little bit of carbon up at the tip as well that again just kind of help lighten up that swing weight a little bit and give the ski good power and good pop and energy this is the new redesigned blizzard rustler the rustler has been such a popular ski in that more free ride all mountain category and what i mean by free ride is this is a ski that is great on the groomers for sure yeah when you want to get into that soft snow and that powder and that crud in that deep snow this ski has a ton of rocker to it and the beauty about that rocker is the float you get in the, in the deep snow it keeps that ski right above the surface makes it super playful and smooth what they've done with this ski versus the generation before is they added a little bit more power in the tip and the tail they made it a little bit stiffer there stiffer torsionally so then when you get out of that powder and under the groomed and the hard pack snow you're going to get better edge hold and better bite the combination of the torsional stiffness that they've added in the ski the rocker profile this ski when you lay it over on edge you're digging trenches and arc and turns it's super fun love this ski it's got such a nice feel to it beautiful graphics absolutely love it elon came out with the new playmaker this year a brand new ski now Elon's always had the rip sticks and we love the rip sticks I mean those skis are just super fun super playful awesome but with the playmaker they're now designing that free ride all mountain ski again very similar to that blizzard rustler where you've got a lot of rocker profile in this ski so it makes it super playful and fun and slash and turns and a really fun deep snow ski that still sacrificing performance again we're looking for one ski quiver so you still want a ski that's going to be fun on the groomed and hard pack snow and you're going to get that with the playmaker i really like the design of this ski it's a lightweight construction it's a wood core they do have these two carbon rods that run the full length of the ski and the carbon is giving it that power and that stability but without having any metal in it keeping it very lightweight this is just a playful ski love the graphics i don't know i mean pink is back in i guess you know, Alon embraces it with a few of their different models. Kevin, what, what one of my good friends, Foil the World, what he says in the foiling world, pink is punk. Oh man, pink it is punk, pink, baby. Pink is punk, I would agree with that, you know. <laughs> pink will never die. All of you guys out there, I'm gonna tell you, deep down inside, you like pink on a ski, I know you do. Moving on to the Rosignol Cinder Tie. The Cinder Tie is such a cool ski. I gotta tell you, uh, one of my favorites, honestly. And when we get into talking about 
about powder skis, I'm gonna show you another sender that they, they've come out with. So this is the Sender 104 tie. Such a great ski. I mean, there's so many cool things I can talk about here. One, I love how this ski is different from the free ride category, definitely more of a front side, all mountain, but with that 104 waist width, great in the powder and the crud and the deep snow. This ski is super smooth, super stable, excellent edge hold. I can't say enough great things about this ski. But yeah, if you're the all mountain skier that though you're on the groomed runs, you prefer to be off piece. You wanna get into the cut up snow on the side or in the trees or in the big bowls, this ski is gonna handle it really, really well. Being a more directional shape, you have a nice rocker shovel here, but not as much rocker in the tail as you're gonna see in the free ride category. And that's gonna give you more stability. If you're you know, maybe jumping these little airs and you want a little bit more tail to give you that, that stability in your landings, this ski is gonna be it. Not only is it very stable, it's got a light swing weight to it, this ski has what's called air tip up in the shovel of the ski. If you hold it up in the light, you can kind of see there's light shining through it there. The idea behind the air tip is that lighter swing weight. Again, when you get into those steeper, more technical you know, type of terrain, you want that ski to, to be agile and quick and, and be able to go from one steep turn to the next. This ski feels really good there. So that is the Sender 104 tie. Beautiful ski, love it. New from K2 this year, is the Mindbender 96C. So 96C, 96 is that waist width again, 96 underfoot. C stands for carbon. There's no metal in this ski. It's got a carbon weave in it. And as a matter of fact, another salesman sample to talk about here, because there's some fun things to explain. This has the spectral braid. And what spectral braid is, if you notice this cross pattern, these black lines, this is carbon that is starting up in the shovel of the ski. See how tight those squares are, how small those little squares are? But look what happens when you work your way down to the tail. See how those squares are getting much wider and they're stretching that carbon out a little bit? Here's the idea. This is allowing the ski to give you a ton of power as you start the turn. It helps absorb vibration in the, in the tip of the ski, but by opening it up in the tail, it allows that ski to finish the turn cleaner and smoother. It's a great combination. And I think the graphics look really good on this ski. And what's neat about the graphics, you can actually see that weave in the ski of the graphic in different areas here. So beautiful ski, K2 did a great job. Even the back of them looks great. And this is just a fun ski, playful, yet stable and smooth on the groomed and, and hard pack snow. So really enjoy that guy. Moving on to the Nordica Unleashed 98. This is a ski that Nordica came out with last year and it was very well received. Very nice ski. Things I can talk about here is this one is almost like a traditional camber ski really it does have rocker in the tip and in the tail from about where my hands are to the outer tip and tail but look how much camber there is underfoot there i don't know if you can see that but the idea with this ski is they're giving it a, a more energy and more power and, and pop under the foot so for this skier that likes a really hard charge down the mountain still wants a playful feel in this feel in the ski but they also want a ski that's going to when they load it up give you a ton of energy back so 100 percent in 100 percent back this is the ski on the Unleashed 98. And I love the graphics on the ski. It kind of has this glossy, shiny finish to it, mixed in with a little bit of mute. Kind of gives it that ice look. So very fun ski. And again, they're gonna offer a couple different widths in this ski, but the 98 is that one ski quiver. Armada, Armada has the ARV new for this year, the 100. The 100 is, again, they're trying to design a ski that is the one ski quiver. This is the ski that you're gonna take you know, on that vacation and you know, you want that, that versatility, whether it's a foot of fresh new powder or on the groomed runs. This gets back to that free ride category though. You know, the ARVs have always been not just known for their all mountain ski, but fun in the terrain part. Couple things they do different with this ski is they go to an actual thicker edge um, on this ski than you're gonna see on most of the other skis. And the idea there is, you know, hitting rails or boxes and that type of thing and giving you a little bit more durability with that edge. But at the same time, this ski, when you get on a nice groomed run, you want to ski it as an all mountain ski and carve turns. This thing carves beautifully and it's just a, a super versatile ski at that 100 waist width. So that is your ARV 100. Fun, youthful graphic, you know, cool stuff there. So that's really my selection of the one ski quiver that I really like. If I'm going to go someplace and 
I want one ski that does it all. Any one of these is going to suit you and they're going to be fun and you're going to love them. So Kevin, one of the big questions that, that we tend to get in the comments, and thank you so much for leaving comments on the video, is, well, geez, guys, you didn't pick one. Like, which one's the best? That's a very good question. It's going to be different from for everybody. Honestly, out of all of these skis, if I personally were going to pick one, I like the Rossi Sender 104. I love that ski. But but, that, but that's how you ride. I, yeah. And, I, that, I, and, and yeah. that, you know, that's the thing. It's like, we would love to tell you which one of these to get and just the one. But it turns out how you ski and the train that you like to go over, there's slight nuances in each one of these skis. So the yep. best thing to do, we're here with Kevin. You know, he owns Gurks here in Issaquah, Washington. You can call them if you want or visit your local ski dealer, where, ski shop, wherever you are. But make sure you spend that time to tell them how you like to ski mm -hmm. so then you can match it. The other thing I'm going to proactively address in the comments is what about Black Crows, Lines, you know, these other sure. skis. Those skis are great too. We can only cover so much in this yep. video, but I gotta tell you, Kevin, as always, I learn something every time. <laughs> it gets me fired up for the ski season. I can smell the wax in the back going on. It's gonna be a great year. Get out there early while the racks are full to get your skis for 2024. Thanks so much for checking out this video and check out our other ones, our powder ski one, oh, yeah. our boots. There's some new stuff in oh, boots yeah. too. Mm -hmm. So just check out the other videos that will follow right after this one. Thank you so much for checking out. Please remember to subscribe and we can't wait to help you learn a little bit more about other sports that you love to do. Talk to you soon.